institutional support. I think this is a uh, important moment. We've a couple steps in the right direction here to be able to secure our capital projects for 2023. 20, uh, this is one of them, obviously the light rescue. I'd like to thank members of council who supported us in um, you know, divvying out the funds required to actually secure these much needed uh, vehicles that we need to utilize on a daily basis. Uh, the light rescue has already been out many times in a number of different types of calls and it's uh, a big great addition to our fleet. So again, I'd like to thank all of you for your support. Everybody from each station who had input, uh, putting everything together, uh, getting it ready, getting it ready for service. Director Williams said this truck's been out on multiple calls. Uh, 190, it'll be a great asset for, for the large incidents that, that seem to be coming more and more. So we will push this in. We'll do our Jason, tell me, uh, tell me about the trucks. Yeah, so today is a, a great day for Port Hope Fire and Emergency Services. We're here celebrating the uh, purchase and procurement of our 2023 capital projects. We're able to secure both vehicles that we're looking for, which is a light rescue, which is going to be housed at our Station 1 location, and also our heavy rescue, which is going to be stationed at our Station 2 location currently here in Welcome. Uh, the heavy rescue is going to be utilized for the majority of our technical rescues, motor vehicle collisions, uh, especially on our approximate to the 401. And our light rescue is going to be utilized a lot in our urban center. We got a smaller light rescue, uh, more, more efficient and uh, more effective way to provide emergency service to the residents of Port Hope. How long has this been in the process and the cost? So these are uh, two vehicles that we put into the uh, 2023 budget. So these actually have been uh, in the works for almost eight months now. Um, we were did a lot of research and you know the technical components of the vehicles we, we wanted uh, to provide to the community. Um, as only over the past couple of months we actually able to secure, to secure them because of the supply chain issues. Uh, we're very fortunate we're able to obtain both these vehicles uh, on time and under budget. So the total cost for both these vehicles is approximately 1.2 million dollars. Especially. Special order or are they sort of off the factory? No, so if, if we were to actually custom and special order them, it would take approximately three years for these vehicles to be made. Uh, there'd be no no uh, price securement, so there would be no fixed price because due to supply chain issues, the cost of these vehicles are going up approximately 1% every four weeks. So the fact we're able to get them almost right after budget was approved and we're able to actually secure the vehicles we wanted, it puts us in a great position. So. Last thing, tell, tell about the pushing in part. So the push in, push in uh, ceremony is a firefighter tradition that goes back over 150 years. Back uh, before we had vehicles and, and, and fire trucks, there were we had water tankers pulled by horse and wagon. Uh, horses, uh, you know, they, they can't back up and push that wagon in, so the firefighters would unhitch the horses and they'd actually push the wagon into the fire hole. So this is a continuation of the tradition. It shows the, the importance of these vehicles to our firefighters and the amount of respect that they, they rely on these vehicles to take them to the emergency calls and bring them home safely at the end of each one.